Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kavi Arquez. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today we have an exciting video. This is a braided wig. Take her in. Wow. Let's jump into it. Today's hair sponsor is Gorgeous. In the past I've said Gorgeous. I've said a lot of different things but I believe it's pronounced Gorgeous. Gorgeous hair. They are known for their braided synthetic wigs. So what I have installed is a 24 inch synthetic braided wig cornrow style and it also has like water wave hair in it. I don't know how to explain it but each braid kind of has like pieces out you know coming through to give it the water wave. So as you can see it's attached to the braids. That's what we have installed and she is full synthetic. Sometimes the lace is just too dark. Actually, every single time. We shall see. Yeah, the lace is definitely too dark. What does it look like on my actual hair? I'm curious now. Yeah, we need the ball cap. I guess we're gonna go ahead and do the ball cap, even though I don't wanna do ball cap. Has to be done. Is that braid straight? What's the straight as it's gonna be? I think so. So before you guys come for me about these baby hairs, 
that's how the hair is, the wig is styled in the original picture of the wigs. So I did this side, I'm gonna try to do this side and then come back. Okay, so mm, these baby hairs are very intense. Like they're very much, very, very intense. I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna change it at some point, but we're gonna leave it like that for now. Um, only because I tried to like recreate the image. I'm gonna show you guys so you don't come for me, okay? So can you see? So, I feel like we did that. Now I'm just gonna try to hide the darker lace with some of my lighter foundation. Oh yeah, that's working. And also, if you go over the tracks like that, you're gonna hide some of the knots and you're gonna make the wig look the most realistic because right now, you can see all of the knots so just go in with some foundation or powder and then kind of hide those knots in between the braids. So I'm not sure if you guys can see a difference, but that is this side without and then this is the side with the knots done. I'm gonna continue to do that. I just wanted to take a few pics like this and then I'm gonna change the baby hairs into something that's more natural for me that I'm used to wearing. If you have a darker skin tone, you may not even have to do any of this stuff, but I need to do it just because one, the lace is too dark and I don't like seeing those knots. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the braids after. Go in with some concealer now. Okay, so now I'm gonna fix these baby hairs because those baby hairs are too crazy for me. They're too long. I'm not gonna wear it like that. I'm gonna go in with some water. That's more normal for my likings when it comes to baby hairs. I don't need to be doing the absolute most. Let me know, you guys, which set do you like more? Do you like the first set I did or this set? Let me know in the comments section. I'm noticing a few flyaways. You would have seen me do the crazy baby hairs. I just wanted to show the baby hairs for the pictures that I was gonna take. So for the pics that I wanted to take, I wanted to show both styles, like with that kind of like full in your face baby hair, and then also, you know, more natural, more my vibe kind of baby hairs. So that's what we decided to do. I think it looks pretty natural. This wig is so cute, you guys. The density is really nice, and it is actually super lightweight. like. I don't even think I feel it on my head. Like, of course I feel this part because it is secure, but the hair, I don't think weighs anything. Like, I, I don't feel it at all. Some of the things that I recommend doing because this lace is a bit darker, you definitely wanna go ahead and wear a ball cap method underneath. I hate wearing ball caps, you guys. If I can avoid it at all costs, I do. But sometimes you just can't avoid wearing a ball cap and this is no exception. It was actually a really simple install once we did the ball cap. When you get your hair braided, it takes many hours, eight hours or more. Then you're stuck with that style, sometimes two months. The good thing about these braided wigs, you can take them off and you can put them back on. Therefore, the braids are not gonna age as much as if you were sleeping on it. Now you can wear this hair in a ponytail. Like you can do so many styles. And I 
really love the braids on this unit. I love how it has this like big braid going down the middle. I've done similar braided wigs, but none have had the big braid down the middle. I just think it adds just a little extra something something, which I'm here for. And then of course, you know, the mixed textures with the braids, just beautiful. This is where it's hitting me. So it's hitting me pretty long, 24 inches. It's definitely pretty long. I love it. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like from the side and the back. You can't see the braids, you guys, when you're wearing it. So this is what it looks like. I think I got sidetracked because I was talking about this. What I recommend doing for this week to make it look the most realistic if you are my skin tone or lighter, it's gonna be a little bit harder if you're lighter than me to blend this wig to make it lighter. I would recommend wearing a ball cap as I stated earlier and also putting some foundation. Like go with a lighter tone. I've been going out a lot in the summer and I'm usually like 420 in the Pro Filter by Fenty Beauty. Now I'm like 430. I do have my summer shade going on. So this is my normal like winter shade. So I used that in between the parts. I just used a brush like this and then I went in and I just cleaned up those parts because you can see those knots if you don't do that so I definitely recommend doing that and then of course along the hairline it's kind of a dead giveaway if you don't put some products like concealer or foundation it's just gonna look really dark so I definitely recommend doing that those are my tips I love this wig so much and if you guys want to purchase this wig I'm gonna leave all the information in the description box for you guys that's gonna be below I gotta go I'll catch you soon in another video thanks so much for watching if you made it this far into the video you are the mvp of the day and i really do appreciate you bye guys